Ron Holman spent four days with one group of families searching in western Michoacan state. We're heading into a ranch in Michoacan state, southwest Mexico. A group of families have come here to search for their treasures. That's what they call their disappeared relatives. Captured criminals have told police that they buried bodies here, including the son of Maria de Lourdes Romero, Abel. Now she's come to find him. I'm in so much pain. I haven't got anything against the people who did this to him. May God forgive them and have mercy on them. Ask her how long since her son disappeared. A year and three months. And it's the first time you've been able to come here and look for him? Always when I go up onto my roof, I say to myself, son, I know where you are, but I can't come and get you. It's so sad to know that there's nothing I can do. She hasn't been able to look till now because it hasn't been safe. The criminal groups who bury bodies here and elsewhere don't want them found. But this time, authorities are with the families. It's the first large-scale search for the disappeared ever in Michoacan state. There are around 80,000 disappeared in the country in total, as if a full football stadium had suddenly vanished. As elsewhere in Mexico, their relatives search with rudimentary tools, a metal rod screwed into the ground, then sniff for the smell of decaying flesh. Although the security forces are here, the relatives take the lead. One thing you notice here is it, it's the families that are teaching each other how to search, not really the authorities. But they find nothing in the ranch, not Abel or anyone else. We join them across four days, looking in former cartel safe houses, swampland, and finally down this well. They got a tip-off that remains could be here. Ruth Gumasindo was at the top, sithing through the mud. She's been looking for her son, Marco Antonio, for years. She explains what that's meant. The moment that they took them away, our peace was finished. We're not complete after that. That's how we left her and the others, still searching in the mud for a small fragment of their relatives to try and complete themselves again. John Holman, 